I'm Sherry McCormick and I have I let God um, lead me here to the mall here in Dothan and as I was walking around I came across Dr. Sims who wanted me to buy a book but I just wanted an autograph because everywhere I go um, people have such a, an amazing word to say about how God is using Dr. Sims whether it's in my own church at Harvest or oh, wow. um, or in my community um, in on the walking trails just wherever <laughs> I go uh, God just God just plants a little word into your into your head into oh, your praise heart God. and then praise when you God. see um, see you um, in person it's great to be able to, to let you know God's God's been out talking about you. Aww. The angels in heaven and God are talking about you. So you ain't got to worry about what anybody Woo! else here is saying about you. Because God, the angels are talking about you, Dr. Sam. Oh, praise God. <laughs> praise God. Thank you, Cher. Oh, yeah. love you. Go. Hey, everybody. This is Angie DeLillo from Dothan Athletic Club. Look who I got here. Hello, somebody. I'm sweat. She got me sweat. She we, got me sweat. We are doing a Let's Break It Down workshop. So we can let, let everybody know the proper foot placement and arms to get the most out of your workout. That's so good. That's we're here good. at Dothan Athletic Club. Oh, tell them about the chair. Tell them about the chair. You can also, if you need to, you can sit in a chair and do modifications. There's really no excuse. Oh, that's Y'all need to come out that's and good. try this. Uh, come on, we're here to help and, you. And it's all about part of a healthy lifestyle. Isn't it? it is. We're a big family. We take care of each other. you got to take the first step and Amen. just come through the door and see us. Amen. This one's we here. Sweat. We sweat. We're sweating. Beast mode. Beast mode. <laughs> hey guys, are you ready to get back into shape? Well, why don't you meet me or beat me to Dothan Athletic Club where Brother Jim and the crew are waiting to get you signed up so you can begin your health journey. Listen, I'm telling you, it's worth it. Your health is is your wealth. Listen, when you come down to Dothan Athletic Club, ask for Brother Jim and tell him Dr. Sam sent you. Dial him up at 334-793-7170. And remember, if you stay high on life, life is going to stay high on you. just won this award because he has been nominated and voted as a hero for Grandview's fifth grade class. We are so honored that he is here this afternoon and it's great that the kids see him in this light. He is truly a super citizen. I think Dr. Sims would be the best for our Liberty Legacy superhero because he's a great life coach, determined and reliable. First, he's a great life coach because almost every Thursday, he comes to talk to our class about important words, such as consistency, which means doing something positive or good over and over again. Next, Dr. Sims is definitely determined because he never gave up on us or himself because he said when he accepted God back in his life, everything he did, had a, he had a positive attitude. Lastly, he's a reliable person. You can depend on him to be there to, to support you because he will. I couldn't wait until this day to recognize this outstanding and important person, which is Dr. Sims. Miss Rodriguez, it is so good to see you again. Can I talk about your event that's coming up April the 21st, I believe? Actually, and I thank you for having me, and it is on April the 14th. We've actually changed the date because originally oh. it was supposed to be on Foster Street, but we have been so welcome to do it in Midland City, Alabama, and that will be once again on April 14th at 4 o'clock p.m. What this is, is ADHD is a Me Street Fashion Show. It is to benefit children that have ADHD, which is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Now, the great thing about this event is highlighting the giftedness of our children versus the diagnosis. We are talking about the giftedness, which the symptoms tag together, but nobody will see it until we bring it to the light. So oh, this that's good. Is, this that's is good. All about 
we will be out on the runway just showing you guys how God has created us and made us uniquely and we are standing with our children. Now we do have Tabitha Esther who we're here supporting tonight who will be a part of our tree, our pre-charity event which will be held at the Ordinary People Society. That's 805 North Lena. That's 805 North Lena, Dothan, Alabama. Now that's going to be happening on the 7th. So you guys mark your calendars. April the 7th is a pre-charity event. Miss Esner will be speaking. You will have live performances by Lamisa Danzi. We got Miss Marlo Miller, the poet. We have, of course, myself tweaking some good stuff in. We also have uh, Mr. Durante, who will be singing some songs. So I don't want to give it all away. It's going to be awesome. But one good thing about it is we will be auctioning off the paintings from our children who are ADHD. Oh, that's awesome. So we need y'all there. That is we awesome. So there. what what's your heart behind this event? Why are you so passionate about our children that have been diagnosed with this quote-unquote disease? Yeah, so at the Ordinary People Society, as you know, we serve over 300 people in our soup kitchen, and we help those who are homeless, hungry, and those who are ex felons coming out of out of prison. And so this is very dear because we travel the world with Pastor Kenneth Glasgow trying to end the school-to-prison pipeline. And in that, there's a mental illness portion that is major while our children are being suspended and kicked out and ultimately in prison. And so we are trying to stop and slow down this process to say, hey, there's something that we're missing that these children are gifted. It's not about them being hyper. It's not about them not being focused. It's about them having a gift. If Einstein was here to speak today, Come on. he would be one of those children that would be labeled. Oh, as that's ADHD. good. So that here is we good. Are making change in 2018. That's good. So again, how can people get in touch with you and register for the event on April the 7th and April the 14th? Yes, please follow Dr. Sims as well, and he will have all the information. You can contact us directly at the Ordinary People Society, 334-671-2882. You can follow us up on Facebook. On ADHD isn't me, and also Miss Isner, which is Tabitha Isner, will be promoting that as well. All right, thank you, Rodrigo. All right, thank you for having me. For all of your lawn care needs, contact my friend Jermaine Reynolds of Green Ghost Lawn Service. He will do you an excellent job. He just hooked up my yard, which wasn't looking too good, but oh man, it looks good. Now, listen, you can reach him at 334-718-6409. And when you contact him, tell him Dr. Sam sent you. Uh, happy Passover uh, for our Jewish uh, family and friends. Um, They're going to show the Ten Commandments uh, Saturday evening on the ABC affiliate here in town. Hey, India. Drinking my coffee and eating my oatmeal. What's up, Martha? Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. Jesus. Crucified. And by the beginning of the Sabbath, they want him off the cross and in a bar or tomb. So well, let me ask you this question. Hey, Miss Vanessa, let me ask you this question. What sacrifices are you really making? Hey, Mary, what sacrifices are you making? What sacrifices are you making? You know, we all want the result. We all want that thing here. We want that recognition. We want that success. Hey, Meryl. Hey, Miss Vanessa. Praying for you. We all want that success. But what are you sacrificing to attain that level of success? You know, you want to be healthy and have a healthier body. You got to spend some time in the gym. You want to have some type of intellectual quotient or intellectual prowess. Or what kind of studying are you doing? Hey, man, Mel, good to see you. So, you know, you want a great relationship, but what are you sacrificing? What are you putting forward to have that great thing? You know what I'm saying? What dues are you paying? What's up? What's up, Bishop Little? What 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 sacrifices are you making? What are you going without in order to have? 
are you are you still driving an old car so one day you can have that bigger car are you kind of living in a smaller venue now so that one day you get a bigger venue um are you a minimalist now to be a maximalist later so what are you really doing to sacrifice and to get to where you want to get hey what's up marcus what's up horace what's up phil you know a lot of people they, they, they want that, but there's a level of work involved in getting there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people want to speak on to it, but where's your book? I got four books. And I'm just saying that as part of my discussion this afternoon. What sacrifices are you making to get there? We, well, we Everybody, and you look at people that, that we ascribe success to, and it seems like they had a smooth ride. If you peel back the covers, if you peel back the layers of that onion, they'll very easily let you know, hey, you know, we had to work to get here. You know, as winter, how much legwork has she had to put in to become an actress? How many no's did she have to hear before she got a yes? You know what I'm saying? She's a she's an actress. She is a sad qualified, bona fide, certified actress. She's cut her teeth on some small roles and she landed in a premiere movie uh, last year. You know what I'm saying? And so you got to be willing to sacrifice. And, and, and I believe if this generation could be faulted for a thing, it, it's just our unwillingness to sacrifice anything. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to give up anything. What are you willing to get up to receive Jesus laid down his life and took it back up again early Sunday morning he said I'm gonna lay my life down for a friend what are you willing to lay down what are you willing to sacrifice what are you willing to give today you feel me what are you willing to give what are you willing to sacrifice happy good Friday everybody and I want you to think about that question what are you willing to give up See, we don't like that kind of talk. <laughs> we don't like that kind of talk. We don't like that. Hey, Dr. Porter, we don't like that kind of talk. What are you willing to sacrifice? Jesus sacrificed. He gave his life. Nobody took it. Look at the adjectives. Look at the adverb. I'm laying my life down. Thank you, Dr. Porter. I'm laying my life down, and I'll pick it up again. So my, my Socratic question for you this afternoon, what are you willing to lay down? Hey, Miss Grayson, what are you willing to sacrifice? You want to get there. Hey, say, you want to get there. Hey, Lisa, you want to get there. But what are you willing to sacrifice to get from here to here? For example, you want a better looking physique. You want a better body. Well, are you in the gym? Are you working out? Are you exercising? Are you drinking your water? Are you eating better? You know what I'm saying? We all want the results. Hey, Crystal, we all want the result, but what are we doing to sacrifice toward those results? What are you doing to pay your dues? What are you doing to lay your foundation? Hey, Sister Gracie, because you have to have a good foundation. A lot of times when you don't see things sprouting up, hey, Crystal, the, the roots are forming. You're not going to have any substantial anything if you don't have a good foundation. you got to have a good foundation. And a lot of times the reason things fail, we don't have a good foundation. Well, Dr. Sims, you always are talking about doing something. So how do we sacrifice? What do we need to do to sacrifice? Well, the first thing you need to do is know your purpose. I, I come back to this. You need to know your purpose. The two most important days in a person's life is the day that they were born and the day they figure out why. Do you know why you're here? See, sacrificing is easy when you know why you're here. If, if we were on Family Feud today and Steve Harvey asked, what's the top five reasons for people not to have a life coach? Top five answers on the board, we surveyed 100 people. What's the number one answer? The number one answer is people say, I can't afford it. Well, I've taken that out of the equation. A dollar and 20 cents a day, you're going to get three things. 
you're going to get my new ebook, Walking Person Grow Rich. Come on. Come on, come on now, Meryl. Come on. See, nobody wants to work. Yeah, come on now. Sacrificing time. You in school. They're not giving degrees away. I tell my sons that. They're not giving degrees away. Come on now. They're not giving degrees away. You know? You want to be challenged, you know? So go to drwaterstadium.com slash modash zone. You're going to get three things. You're going to get a copy of my new e -bird. Oh, Meryl, I'm going to give you a call. You're going to get a copy of my new ebook, Walking Purpose to Grow Rich. You're going to get um, a weekly email. We're on the Secret Sauce series. And number three, we're going to do uh, a coaching in my private coaching group. And we're supposed to, I'll be supposed to, I'm talking to them this afternoon as a matter of fact. I'm talking to them this afternoon in my private coaching uh, crew, Living on Purpose Coaching. Dr. Walter dot com slash Moday Zone. It's on a dollar and twenty cent a day, thirty seven dollars a month. Come on, man. Come on. If you can't afford that. Come on now. Oh, come on. What are you willing to sacrifice? You want to get there. I want to challenge you today. What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to lay down? There you go, Meryl. There you go. Stay where you are. You don't change what you're doing. That's right. Don't change what you're doing, Meryl. I'll call you in a minute. Don't change what you're doing. You're doing a good job. All right, y'all. Remember, go to drwalkcentral.com slash mow that zone. And listen, y'all. How do you sacrifice effectively? Know why you're here. Jesus knew that Calvary was in his foreview. He knew that Calvary was ahead of him. And he knew that's why he was here. He knew that. He knew why he was here. He knew it. And you ought to know why you're here. In order you can sacrifice successfully, successfully, because you know why you're here. Oh, come on, somebody. Happy Good Friday, everybody. I'm Dr. Walter Sims. I'm the Minister of Motivation. I'm your personal pastor. Love you. And you can't do a thing about it. J.E.W. Ministries on fire for God presents Old Time Religion. Hey, come to the Cal Association Building, Troy, Alabama, Sunday, April the 15th, 2018. The door is going to open at 2.30 p.m. Early bird tickets are $18 at the door. It's 25 Listen, who's going to be in the place? The Messengers, Little Blair and the Violin Heirs, Minister Norwood and Children of God of New York, Evangelist Flossy Johnson and Favor from South Carolina, and Brother Williams himself and the amazing God the song Words from Helen and national recording artist Lady Von Sale Belcher. For more information, contact Brother Williams at 334-405-5252. Hey, listen, either meet him there or beat him there. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. Let everybody say, Lord, I'm just glad to be here. I thank God for all of the, the officers of this church, from the moderator to the usher at the back door. I'm a little disappointed because when we came in and the minister Beecham came up, I thought I was going to hear something along the lines of, yeah. <laughs> Jesus loves me, but maybe next time. <laughs> I am a little disappointed because I, I, I thought Barclay was going to really shift the gear yeah. and say, well, it's not comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and Holland set the stadium. But all these times, I love preachers. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought... Pastor Wool was just going to preach all seven sins, but he took it from the sun. And Big Mama said he picked all the plums off the tree and just left a couple. But I, we only have seven minutes, so I will, I will reduce my preamble. Yes, because we only have seven minutes. Yes, and it's hard for a preacher yes, to stay in the yes, confinements yes, of his time. Yes, yes, I took an average of all of the preachers, and every preacher preached about eight minutes. So I have about a 60-second 
Okay. <laughs> the sick singing it. Because you heard how each preacher touched on the divinity yes, sir. and the humanity of Jesus on the cross. Yes. So a lot of times when we try to live life, teacher, we teacher. try to separate our divinity teacher. from our humanity. Teacher. And we have made the world think that we have to walk on water to live this thing called life. But what we need to understand is that we are still in this thing called flesh and blood. I'm, I'm making a point. Come on. Yeah. Because we trying to make this world think, now that I got Jesus, I'm perfect now. But I want to tell you this before I preach. Our salvation cannot be dependent on my inconsistent performance. I wish y'all were listening. Y'all acting like, y'all sitting here acting like you've been baptized and proved to you. Like Holland said, where my praises at? I don't go preaching, man. Where my worship was at? Y'all act like you don't know Jesus tonight. You sitting there looking at us, want us to whoop you high. You ought to come in here shout because this is Good Friday. I wish I had somebody want to praise God. You've been coming to church all your life and you looking at me like, like I got five heads and three arms and two eyes and, and five mouths. You ought to be praising God because of the cross. But as Holland led into my saying tonight, because the inquisitive observer would ask the question, why did Jesus not get vinegar a little earlier in the ordeal? Because Barclay said it's uncomfortable. But he did not want to use any form of antiseptic or anesthesia to numb the pain like many of us do. We have a lot of crutches in this world. And instead of leaning on the cross, we're leaning on everything and everybody else. But all Big Mama said you really have to do is have a little talk with Jesus. Let me preach. Let me preach and get in my notes homiletically, or these preachers will get on me because I haven't read the text yet. But I'm building up to this point. We are not saved because we are good. We are saved because of what he's about to say. John 19 30, very quickly. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar. Uh -huh. He said it is finished. Yeah. Yeah. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to tell you it is finished tonight. Mm -hmm. If we could order. Mm -hmm. Start and finish. If there was a numeric order. Yeah. Starting would be one. Yes. Yes. And finishing would be 1A. Yes. The reason many of you have not bowed your head and given up the goal, because you ain't even started yet. Right. That's why they call me the minister of motivation, because I help people figure this thing called life out. Yes. And many of you have not even started your contract with God yet. You come and sit on the pews. Yes. 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 But the reason yes. you're not shouting tonight, because you're not serving your purpose. Yes. Oh, one thing, and I'm gone. One thing I love about Jesus. Not only was he born in a manger, he died on the cross. I wish I had time to do this. I got 60 seconds. One thing I love about Jesus. He didn't stop when that woman tested him of his gun. Barkley, he not like some of us. We get happy over the highlights. Oh, yes, I done just healed a woman with the issue of blood. We'll go sit down. Yeah. Oh, but tell you, nigga, it ain't over yet. Yeah. Oh, just cause you get stuck in a valley, yeah. it ain't over yet. Tell your neighbor, it's not over yet. Yeah. Just cause you get fired from a job you've been on for 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask me how I know that. Just because the world get tired of you, tell your neighbor, it's not over yet. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had some Calvary folks in there. Yeah. See, some of y'all would have stopped when you fed the multitude. Yeah. And you thought they would have put you on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and talked about you, put your name on the signboard, but they turned their back and they walked off from it. Yeah. And he asked the disciples, 
would you leave me as well? See, men of y'all are so, uh, men of y'all, I'm, I'm shaking my head because I'm disappointed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you allow your trials to trip you up. The big mama said, as long as I got Jesus, he's a mighty good leader tonight. All the way from earth to earth. Now I gotta tell you because these preachers are looking at me quizzically. Yes. And I gotta let you know the reason I have a doctrine because I study a little bit. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this word tonight, it is finished in the Greek. I wish we could study the Greek because there are several tenses tonight. On, yeah. Not only this one word shows two tenths of time. Yeah. It shows the past oh. and it shows the ongoing present. Oh. What are you world are you talking about, English professor? Oh. Greek professor, what are you talking about? What I love about God, not only did he take care of my debt on Calvary, he keeps If I pay you on Monday, yeah. oh, I better get some help up in here. I'm so glad some of your friends will write you a check, but ain't no money in the bank. See, what Roger Wallace tell you, you've been with Prime America for 26 years. And a lot of folks that sign up with him on Monday, when he go to catch the paperwork on Tuesday, the money ain't there. And he get a text back that said insufficient funds. But I'm so glad tonight, and I'm gone. I'm so glad tonight when Jesus said it is finished. Ain't got to scratch my head talking about I hope to go to heaven. I don't know what some of y'all been studying your Bible and going to church. That bothers me to hear God folks say, I'm just trying to live right. It ain't got nothing to do with you. My friend Lacey at Beefo Brady's has won our smile of the week this week. Every time I go in there, she is just full of smiles and high-fiving me, and we just have a real good time. Listen, you want to be considered for Smile of the Week and win lunch at Panera Bread or Rock and Roll Sushi or get a smoothie at Smoothie King, just get caught smiling and use hashtag Dr. Sam, WDHN, Million Smile March, and you just may win our Smile of the Week. And please remember, if you stay high on life, life is going to stay high on you.